Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To run a macro that you've recorded, select Tools, roll down to Macro, and choose Macros from the side menu that appears. In the Macros dialog box, select the name of the macro that you've created. You may have to look in a different location, where it says Macros in. If you selected to store it into the All Documents, that actually stores it in the normal dot, which is a global template. So here you would select the name of the macro to run, and then click Run to the right. It should then execute the macro, which in this case should bring up a new document for us. Now also in the Macros dialog box you can edit macros if you're familiar with the Visual Basic for Applications programming language or you can delete macros. Most commonly you will delete macros that you recorded unsuccessfully and don't quite do what you want them to do. In order to delete a macro you would go to Tools, Macro and choose Macros, select the name of the macro to delete and simply click Delete to the right. Oftentimes, if you don't know the actual programming language, which we can actually view if we select a macro and click Edit, it's oftentimes much easier to go in and delete the macro than to try and pick up the Visual Basic for Applications language, which is the programming language used to actually create the macros. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.